Gemini, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Let's start with the area of personal growth and development. What's coming up for Gemini? We've got the Eight of Wands. What's coming up for Gemini? Six of Swords and the overall energy. Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, I like it. Very good, Gemini. All right. <clears throat> let's put this up here. And let's look at what the In the Shadows Oracle what messages? Oh, I can't pick them up. Okay. <laughs> All the decks have been pre-shuffled, which is why I'm just getting straight into it. Oh, oh, okay. We start with, oh, I'm waiting for an apology. All right. I was careless with you. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got, I know you're watching me. Oh. Okay, well then, let's put this one aside and let's look at your fourth house. What's coming up for Gemini in their fourth house? Ace of Pentacles, all right. Is that the only one? Yeah, three of wands. And at the bottom of the deck, ten of wands, all right. This is awesome. I'm seeing some wonderful growth here. <clears throat> Amazing, amazing. Let's see what the Hidden Truth Oracle has for you. I trusted you. I am not over you. And I don't know what you want. All right. Let's look at your relationship sector. What's going on with Gemini in the relationship area? We've got Queen of Swords. What's going on with Gemini in the relationship area? Ooh. Six, six of Pentacles, but it came out reversed, which is interesting because this deck has a front and back, and it didn't even come out in the back. It just came out reversed. <laughs> okay. And at the bottom of the deck, Temperance. Okay. Let's see what the Hidden Truth Oracle has for you. What's the messages for Gemini from the Hidden Truth? I regret lying to you. What's the message for Gemini? Okay, so we have, I regret lying to you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. And just being near you is intoxicating. Okay. Now let's look at your career or public persona. We've got Hierophant. Knight of Pentacles and the Judgment. All right. And now let's look at what comes through with the Oracle cards. <clears throat> so we've got Innovate. Is your business too generic? Highlight what you can give to your clients that no one else can. Frame your offers in a completely new way brainstorm keep fresh ideas flowing for your business if you feel stuck take some quiet time with your journal and write down everything that comes and then at the bottom of the deck we've got master master how you handle your thoughts and emotions on a daily basis as a successful entrepreneur okay all right, all right, all right. so we've got as an interesting little collection here gemini um let's start here so <clears throat> in the area of personal development you you're putting in a lot of work um this actually reminds me of some of you may have capricorn energy this makes me think of capricorn you may also have aries energy but you are definitely putting in a lot of work into yourself now for some this could be this could be work that you're putting into a project because two cards, uh, you may be relocating. 
you may be about to move because two cards of movement. You may be about to move for a job or you may be about to move for there's something that you want to put work into. So, hey, for some of you, this could even be a relationship. I doubt it with the way your seventh house is looking over here. But whatever you're moving for, I really feel like it's more career oriented, financially motivated, uh, practical. It's practical in nature. Now, this could also be just you working on yourself, wanting to move forward, leave the past behind. Because we do have, I'm waiting for an apology. I don't know if this is you or if this is the person that you are dealing with. But someone here is waiting for an apology. Somebody, um, I was careless with you. <sighs> Again, I don't know if it was, if it's you, you can tell someone else is waiting for an apology. You feel like you were careless with them. Or you're waiting for an apology. Someone else is careless with you. And you're in the energy of, I know you're watching me. So I feel like there's a conversation happening here with these cards. Somebody's waiting for an apology. Someone else is like, yes, I was careless with you. But the fact that you're still waiting or somebody's still waiting means the apology has not been given. And then they're still aware that there's eyes on them. <clears throat> we'll, we'll clarify because that's why clarifiers will come up in part two. Um, in, the, in the area of your home, you've got the Ten of Wands... Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands. This is, um, this is either you carrying a lot of responsibility in your home if you are relocating, it's causing a lot of stress, but there is newness in the home. So you're going to be purchasing a new home. You could be moving into a new apartment. Something, something is changing because I do see relocation. For some of you, it doesn't have to be a different city or a different state. It could be that you're moving within the same area <clears throat> just into a different home, an upgrade. I feel like it's an upgrade because you're putting in a lot of work. We have pentacles, pentacles. Um, and responsibility also coming through. But but I love this Ten of Wands because although there's Ten Wands, it usually represents a burden, right? Because it's Saturn energy, Sagittarius Saturn. This person is standing straight up. They're not they're not um, bending under the burden. So yes, you may be under some stress, you may be under some pressure, but you're also like, I got it though. I can handle it. Three of Wands. Wherever it is you're going or you're moving to, you feel like this is a new start, fresh start. You are, you are hurt. And I'm saying you're hurt because I see you trying to move on from something that, that, that you had to put boundaries with. You trusted someone. They maybe put you in a place where you don't know what happened. You're not over it though. You're not over it. But you also want a fresh start. Now we do have nine pentacles, so you're single as a Pringle. You're releasing whatever was in your past, you're just like, I'm I'm done with it. You are not over it, but I see you working to be over it. Especially because in your seventh house of relationship, we've got temperance. You're trying to heal. You're trying to come back in balance with whatever threw you off to begin with. And you are showing up. This could be Libra, Aquarius energy, but it could also be Gemini. Um, by the way, this is Sagittarius. So I don't know if you're dealing with Sagittarius energy or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But it's showing up in your seventh house of relationship. You want to make peace. I will tell you that. So if let's say that you have somebody in your life. There might have been a divorce. There might have been a, a breakup. There might have been a separation. With temperance, you don't want to be at war with this person. 
Now, you are showing up with Queen of Swords energy, so you're saying, let's lay boundaries down, though. Let's, um, let's be, let's be clear, let's be honest with each other. But this is also the energy of tactful. I want to see your side, but I'm, I'm also not going to let you walk over me. So, you may have felt like, this could have been you, Gemini. You might have lied and you regret that. <clears throat> so maybe someone else is waiting for an apology. Somebody, okay, so here's the thing. Here's a dynamic. Two people had a falling out. Now I do see seven swords. So there's possibly some deception here. It was either on your side or the other person's. Somebody. Somebody lied. That person regrets it. They also blamed the person that didn't lie for the falling out. But they're in this place of saying, I know I need to let you go. I know I fucked up. It's it's honestly better. I was careless with you. I, I It's hard, but I need to let you go. Just being near you is intoxicating means that they're not over you or you're not over them. But whoever it is that's that knows that they did nothing wrong, that they were just existing I feel like you're gonna get an apology I feel like you're gonna get you're gonna get an apology now be careful be careful that you're not getting an apology because somebody here has run out of funds um Maybe they see you doing quite well and they're like, okay, I could <laughs> I could use some help right now, but that means I need to apologize to Gemini and or vice versa. And I guess let's go do this. So careful, careful with that. Um, but overall, I don't I don't see reconciliation. I see peace. Like this is to me, this is um it's peace, it's harmony, but it doesn't mean let's get back together. That's not what it means. Because there's no, like, no, there's there wasn't an equality here. Somebody here was a taker, the other person was a giver, and whoever the giver was, they're done giving. They're still being kind, they're still being tactful, but they're, they plan to not give to this anymore. Now, in the area of your reputation, public... Um, your public life. You've got Judgment, Hierophant, King of Pentacles. So for some of you, I think in public, you whoever it is that, that's in that energy is going to be putting in a lot of work. If this was a marriage, that's that's what made me think this could be a marriage. If this was a marriage, somebody here is putting in a lot of work to want to come back to it, to want to fix it. I don't think the other person's very interested because I'm telling you, Queen of Swords is not excited about this. This makes me think it's not so much about business. For some, it could be. Somebody here is being innovative. They're coming up with new ideas. But this also makes me think someone here that wants forgiveness. Now, keep in mind, I don't see love here. And I'm sorry, but you know, you guys already know I don't sugarcoat things. There's no cups here. There's nobody here saying, I'm in love with you. No, they're saying, I regret it. But Six of Pentacles reverse is because they ran out of money. They ran out of resources. And they need your help. Somebody here is going to start framing their, their offers in a completely new way. They're going to make you think that they can give you something that no one else can. Someone here is brainstorming. They're brainstorming on how to win you back. Because look at this. Master how you handle your thoughts and emotions. And you see the, the different faces? 
it's like somebody here is planning which face works best. Do I come in acting regretful and mournful for what I've done? Should I be humble? Or should I come in angry and say, how dare you? Should I come in happy and say, oh God, I'm so happy to see you. They're brainstorming. Somebody here is brainstorming how to approach you. How to frame their offer in a completely new way so that you think that they've changed. They have it. You know that. Ooh, this is getting juicy. Okay, I'm going to stop part one here. Um, if you want to watch part two, please click on the link down below. And I will see you guys on the other side. Bye-bye.